these two ladies slugging it out today a few months ago they were one's best friend be careful who you call your friends there are lessons that we can all learn from this video francis is my name if you see my face for the first time on this channel we share tips about migration and we also show videos about the live experiences about immigrants so that lessons can be learned so watch this video for those who do not understand yoruba language which is the language that these ladies are speaking i will explain to you at the end of this video what is going on the wise ones among us as i always say will learn some lesson be careful who you call your friend <laughs> Okay, give so what is happening here is that these two ladies they were very very good friends this lady accommodated her friend for more than eight months and the friend did not pay anything the friend find out through her that she has a house which the husband is not aware of guess what you know some women they like to gossip so the friend now went behind her back and said to the husband, Chief, do you know that your wife has a house and you don't even know? And I'm sure maybe the man doesn't even have his own house. The man was shocked that his wife has a house and the wife did not tell the man that he has a house. The man now said to the wife, Since you have a house and you did not tell me, you are not the boss of this house, this marriage, I think that it's time for us to go our own separate ways. The man asked the woman to move out of the house. Meanwhile, these two friends, when the going was good, this lady introduced her best friend to a man friend whom her friend is still in a relationship with. This video, I want to know what your views are. Do you think that this lady is wrong? For having a house and keeping it from her husband do you think the husband is right by asking this wife, his wife to move out when he found out that she has a house or do you think the friend that told the man that chief madame has a house that you're not aware of and maybe you yourself you haven't got a house i am only telling you this because i like you as a person I want you to know the kind of woman that you're married to, that she's the kind of person who will go behind your back, have a house, and will tell you. Tell me what your views are. You will see, watch this video to the end, you will see what happened to this lady. And there are lessons that we can all learn from this story. Because I'm sure you have friends that you call find in when the going was good. The person you call your friend today, tomorrow may be your worst enemy make sure you leave your comment give this video a like to support our channel and subscribe to this channel if you're seeing this channel for the first time please let me know what your views are let us watch the video to the end we'll see you miss me baby i'm about to hello yeah the police please police you want everybody yes
If this woman work in the helping profession, either nursing, social work, care, anything to do with vulnerable people, this woman, she's dumb. She's likely to have criminal record because of this incident. And therefore, she will not be able to work with vulnerable people for the rest of her life. In fact, if this woman works with vulnerable people, she's as better off as packing her bag and moving to Nigeria because she will not be able to work. If she's self-employed, that's okay, right? What has started as a joke, the consequences of this woman's action now is going to cause a lot of damage. I am sure the marriage that she's trying to protect, th that man is likely to say, you know what, I've had enough because the whole world, uh, the whole world is going to see this woman's face. The whole world is going to know that the man's wife has a house. And if the man doesn't have a house, I'm sure somebody among the man's relative will say, you see, I told you, I told you, this woman is not a nice person. You were defending her. Before you know it, this whole thing is blown. What are the lessons that me and you can learn from this video? Number one, I always say on this platform, anger will lead to self-destruction. If you do not control your anger, it will destroy you. Number two, nobody is talking about what this woman did, which is absolutely wrong, okay? But today, because of the way the woman has handled the situation, because she has handled the situation based on her emotion, no strategy, it is her action that the whole world is not talking about today. It is she that is going to get criminal conviction. It is she that will not be able to work if she works in the care sector. These are some of the lessons that we can learn. And also, friends, the person you call your friends today, as I said before, tomorrow could be the one that will bite you. So these are some of the lessons. For those who recently arrived in the UK or those who are planning to move to the UK, this is not Africa. If you fight in the Western world, that is classed as assault. That means you will get criminal record. The UK will humble you. If you're somebody that likes to do this country, it will humble you. The best way is to use your brain, use your heart. I hope you have learned lesson from this video. Please, if you know anyone who is planning to move abroad or who lives in the Western world, kindly share this video with them because there are lessons that we can all learn from this video. This woman now, she's used her hand to destroy everything that she has worked for and I'm sure she's destroyed the marriage and now her face is now everywhere. So I hope that you've learned from this video to use your brain, not your emotion. God bless you. I will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave your comment. I want to know what your views are. You can support this channel by giving this video a like. I'll see you soon.